Hey guys, it's Monday. It's 8.30 at night. Um, I got a face mask on because someone requested me to try out and review a face mask thing. Excuse the noise in the background, that's Rick and Morty. It just... Pause that. So she requested me to try out the Body Rage Charcoal Detoxing Toxifying Mud Mask for only $4 you can get at Five Below. Um, the reason why I'm not doing a video on it alone is because it does not say that it works right away. So I'm going to presume that it could take a while for the process of what it does to occur. So I'm going to try it for at least a month, maybe two times a week before a shower or something, to see if it really does removes impurities, benefits clear skin, nourishing and cleansing. We'll see. Um, it is a big bottle though. It's 200 milliliters. So that's a that's a big bottle. It's all the way up here. It smells good. Um, it stings a little bit over the acne so far, so that's what I can tell you so far. And Zach has it on too because he has a completely different skin type than me, so I want to kind of get it like from at least two sides of different skin tones. I have normal, and he has oily to dry. So he like some parts he has really oily and some parts he has dry, and he does have dermatitis. So we'll see how that will it will respond to that. So. Yeah, I'm going to go shower in about 15 minutes and then get ready for bed. Today is Wednesday. Zach works a 1 to 10 today, so I'm actually able to go home and get some real work done. Usually when he works 7 to 4s, I am not capable of getting anything done because I'm sleeping through half of the day. Um, going home, I have to do a monster video today that's on the list and writing today, so... Monster video and writing, and I think I'm going to work on eBay, and I have to fold laundry and clean the room and probably vacuum and all that jazz, so, yay! I have to also, at one point today, do a blackhead remover on my nose because I have a lot more blackheads than I should be having with the type of no nose, <laughs> facial masks I've been using, so, yay! That's the plan. I got some acne going on because I had a day where we actually weren't able to go out and I was actually able to have some soda. And now you can tell because I have acne all over my face. It's the first soda in a long time, so I'm not back to being addicted to it. Just, you know, you give yourself a free, free card after like, what, three months of being off of it now? And then Transact lunch, we'll be going back to the gym. So I have a lot to do, although it doesn't sound like a lot to do, working on videos and researching and putting things up on eBay and then writing all at the same time, it'd be a lot to do for some people, but I'm used to multitasking. Matter of fact, if I don't multitask, I feel like I'm out of the loop <laughs> or I feel wrong. So I'm going to go home and do that and watch recorded videos, videos, recorded episodes, Dr. Phil and Steve Wilkos. And whatever else I have on there. Web of Lies. Zach has a whole bunch of Fortune and Fire he has to watch. And I have to delete the Family Guy because on our Xfinity beta thing on our Roku, doesn't like to play some of the episodes properly, I guess. And Zach was getting all hung up on that. So we couldn't finish watching Family Guy last night because he was getting hung up on it. So I just got done playing... Elder Scrolls Online, we restarted our characters and everything, so I'm like a level 16, I feel like a noob. But, doing good on that, I guess. I'm gonna focus on the gaming videos again, though. This is the problem with having an urge on games you're not supposed to be focusing on. I'm supposed to be focusing on, like, Fallout 4, Harvest Moon, and Fable, but in reality, I'm like, Haha, you know what? ESO, let's play this. My life. Hey guys, it's Sunday. It's like almost 9.30 in the morning, so I literally just woke up and took Zach to work. Excuse the acne that's going on. <laughs> of course, I'm getting acne like a week and a half before I have to leave and go to the convention. And I have my retainer in, so it's probably hard to understand me. So yes, today is Sunday. Um, I'm probably going to get off the, this vlog and work on the vlog. But it is a matcha video day, so I have to also work on that. Studying notes and all that She, I should probably actually clean this room if you got like clothes up there. Random 
stuff over there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mess in here. <laughs> I started I started cleaning up my stuff, and when you start, you really don't, like, end. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, my hair is black, as you can see. I mean, in the light, it looks like there's some brown. Look at that. Can you move it? And then it's black, and then the other parts are brown. Like, what is going on? I've never had this problem with my black hair before, but I got black hair. I, I made sure I got black. And I guess it didn't say on the box that it's blue-black because it's very blue in the light. Like, dark, dark blue, not black. I'm like, what the hell happened? So, I don't know if I'm just going to leave it or if I'm going to re-dye it black-black again. Although, that was a mess. I'm not, I'm not even going to put that video up. It was a mess. <laughs> I'll be honest. I haven't personally done my hair pers myself. Like, my mom's always helped me. But while I was doing my hair dyeing, um, my schizophrenia decided, no, you're not going to dye your hair. And then everything started moving around. Not my equilibrium. Everything moved around. It was a hallucination. And it was like, of course. So one, one time I'm trying to do something myself. <laughs> Does not mean I haven't dyed my hair before. I've always used to dye my hair, but then I started doing my hair in weird colors like blue and stuff like that. And my mom helped me with those because don't put this girl with anything that's toxic. I'll use my hands. If I were to put this video, you'll notice I took off those gloves and I used my hands. And now my hands are like all <laughs> lovely colors. And they say not to do that. And I do not encourage not using gloves when applying that stuff. My nails, for some reason, my nails were hurting afterwards. But I've always took it, taken off the gloves because, one, I, am al I have an allergic reaction to latex gloves, particularly. If I wear them for too long, they start making my skin, like, itch and sweat weirdly. And it was, it's, not sweat weirdly, but, like, when it sweats, it hurts. Like, it's, like, acid almost. Um, but those are not latex. It just, I find it bothersome to wear gloves because I just never ended up using them, even when I was, like, cleaning condos and hotels because I got allergic to gloves they gave us to use. So, um, I just became used to wearing gloves and I find it easier to put hair dye in when I can actually feel where the hair dye is and when I'm wearing over it with gloves I feel like it's not going anywhere so it's easier for me to put it in without gloves but apparently my skin's like nah not of this anymore you're, you're getting old now you're 27 that's not how we do things <laughs> back when I was like 20 when I'm like going like going with like my hair with a hair dye without a problem and my my skin's like, I got this girl, and my skin's like, nah, we, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> so, um, I'm doing okay, regardless that my schizophrenia keeps making me have hallucinations. It's better than a psychosis. I'd rather have hallucinations than having voices and having a psychosis problem. Because I, I'm still in that mind frame early enough in my schizophrenia where when I see a hallucination, my brain is able to pick up after a few seconds that it's not real um, because it like fades away quickly or my husband's usually there telling me don't worry it's not there it's not there so I'm kind of more comfortable with hallucinations is that weird to say than I am with hearing voices constantly in my head berating me and um psychosis where I'm just like my brain's not here I'm like a child almost and I can't do anything and that makes me feel awful so um I guess as a little side note, I didn't vlog very much this week because I've been pretty much miserable. I've been having acne most of the week, which makes me feel like ha I have low self-esteem. So, uh, I just haven't been vlogging. I haven't done another video. I was going to do a couple of videos this week, but it all depends on these because I would like for these to heal before I leave for the convention. Because when we're at the convention, I'm going to be applying a lot of makeup if the Sienna for costume gets here. I'll explain that next. Um... And I'd rather have my face fresh for it, so hopefully these wounds heal beforehand. And I don't want to apply makeup on top of them, because I will lessen, uh, no, lengthen the time it will take for them to heal. Now about the costume. She shipped out the costume on May 5th. I got worried because I couldn't figure out where the hell the um, tracking number was, but Essie said there was no tracking number. So I just assumed, okay, this, there's no tracking number. And so one day, for like a couple of days, it says it was, it was in Russia. And then all of a sudden, it said it was here. Not here, but like on a road that's like maybe 10 minutes away from me. I said, maybe it's at a UPS store or something. Maybe it was dropped off there. 
place where I can go pick it up or something like that, but I never got a notification. So I started panicking, and when I start panicking, I can't sleep, so I needed to get, I need to have Z-Quil, and which Z-Quil can cause hallucinations, and it's a long, like, oh, son of a, kind of process. And then I end up finding the tracking number just yesterday. But before I did find the tracking number, I looked up Russian Post, and I read that it's like one of the longest to ever take. Like, I, I, China sends things faster than Russia sometimes, apparently. And like, it says that, oh, someone sent something in February and they didn't get it until May. I'm like, god damn, I need that thing before, I'm leaving the 23rd, but I told her the 20th. I want that before the 20th. And she promised, don't worry, it'll get there before the 20th. So I want to believe her. But now I'm panicking because I, 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 re- I was researching. It's my job. I guess we'll see. But I did find the tracking. It said that it left Russia like three days ago. And it hasn't updated. So I'm like, where is it now? I must know. And the reason why I'm mostly freaking out about this, normally I would not freak out about this, but it's a $400 item. And I've been telling everyone I'm going as Yennefer. <laughs> I dyed my hair black like before I started freaking out. And I really liked my hair color last, like, before this. So I'm going to be pretty furious if my costume does not arrive in time. Now, I do have another costume I can take with me. I have two costumes I worked on, like, back in Florida. I have the Pyramid costume from Silent Hill, which I was very popular for back in Megacon uh, in Orlando when I lived in Florida. And I have Straight Jacket from Silent Hill, which I made myself. I never wore that one to a convention. I wore it for Halloween, being like a mannequin in my mom's yard when people would come up and start moving. We're, we're Halloween buffs. Um, <laughs> uh, I can take that. That's small enough to take. Because all there, that's really bulky on that is the ribcage. And it, they're small. I didn't make it around to my body. I made it where it's two and I can squeeze into it. So I should be able to send that if, if the Yennefer costume doesn't show. So if I do not put up a Yennefer like, unboxing and everything like that, or something like that, that is because it didn't come in time. I will stu- still do a makeup and all that stuff after the con when it does arrive. Um, I am working on the boots and I'm not filming it because now I'm panicking about it. So while I'm making these boots, I'm not really focusing. I'm just kind of rushing to do this in hopes that it will release some panic that I have in me. You know what I'm trying to say? You try to work on something to kind of focus. So I haven't been filming that because I've just been... Every time I film, because I've just been panicking. I know I shouldn't panic. Calm down, Amanda. You good girl, but you know, shit happens. So uh, I have to get to work, and hopefully I don't fall asleep. I've been really exhausted lately. Um, I'll watch the hair dye video. I have my camera like right there somewhere. <laughs> I'll watch it. I didn't film it like afterwards, so this is what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. Uh, I will explain the process. I didn't, uh, do full voice in while I was doing it. So I'm going to do a voice over. And, um, basically it just be cut off a couple areas because my camera decided to die a couple of times. <laughs> That's another reason why I didn't want to put up the video. But look, I'll watch and see. Um, it is messy. For those who know, I'm a very type of messy person. I don't care about perfection when I'm doing stuff. Unless if I'm playing video games for some reason. But, um... Otherwise, like, when I'm doing stuff, it's a very messy process. Like, the room looks like a mess. When I'm writing, my desk looks like a crap mess. It's, I've always been that way. So, yes, if the dye video is messy looking, if people who don't mind getting a little bit messy, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I always figured, you know, creativity sometimes is messy. It's not always perfect. So, anyway, um... Thank you for watching, and I will be vlogging the convention, so I might not be vlogging this week. Not sure, because then I have to rush the video up as quickly as possible the next week. So I'll see with how well my mentality is during that week, depending on this costume. If this costume shows up, we're good. If not, then we might have some problems up until the day I leave.